Hey everybody, come check us out in Madison at the Wisconsin Fishing Expo in February 23rd through the 25th. We're gonna be doing two different seminars down there. The first one's gonna be on how to target giant pike. The second one's gonna be how to catch walleyes and padding fish on high water years. I'll tell you something, it's all about learning. Come check us out in Madison on the 23rd through the 25th at the Wisconsin Fishing Expo. Oh, you're gonna get him in the boat? Oh, will he get it? Will he make it? Shawnee, oh, come on, oh! Hey, hey. can I get some real? <laughs> the size of that perch. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's show. We've got an amazing show coming up. We're gonna be fishing with our good friend, Adam Christensen from Adrenaline Guide Service. You know what, Adam's on an amazing perch bite this week. I'll tell you, it's one of them kind of things where I'm surprised these perch are up into the Mississippi in the places they are this early, but you know what? It's just a different year this year for sure. Hey, we're also gonna be having, joining us, Christine and Sean from Mike's Country Meats. They're up in Tigerton. It's a very unique product. It's my favorite jerky. Like I always tell you guys, we're very proud to have them for a sponsor. They've been with us from almost the beginning. Hey, I've got another thing for you guys. I've got it, we're up in Minnesota this week and we stayed at the farm last night. I've got a huge oak tree in the yard here. And what I wanna do is I had it aged already so I know how old it is. Whoever guesses first on this, I'm gonna give you guys a brand new pair of Vortex binoculars. So if you guys, here's a shot of that tree. Take a look at it and tell me how old you think that tree is. Hey everybody, we got a lot of exciting stuff coming up. So you guys hang on to your heinies. We'll check back in with you when we hit the landing. I want to get it you done. need help? Got him fat. I'm fat too, man. Little legs, big gut. Just get over half and shoot for the moon. <laughs> oh, there he goes, look at him. See, look, you just got to get over it. Look at that. Do you see a big boy come in boat? Right? That, that's oh. you just pray you don't have nothing hard in your hey. pocket. Big boy in boat. I got to welcome Adam, right? A new part of the Warrior family. Got a brand new V208. Ready to rock and roll? God, you're, how did you get so roll. big? Did I shrink overnight <laughs> or something like that? Oh, my God. Really good old. It does? I'm shrinking. <laughs> hey, right. I got a good idea. I got a good idea. I am shrinking. <laughs> down and out. Hey, I got a good idea. Yeah. Sit down, hang on to your heinies. Let's go catch some Mississippi River Jumbos. So what you do is you take a loop, <coughs> and what's going to be your tag on, like that, center the hook in that, so you end up with that, pass the hook through five, six times. Very important to tie a good knot for drop shot so your hook is always situated the way you need it to be. And then I grab it with my teeth, and what you want to see is that triangle right there. Pull it tight, drop shot. Always sits the way you want it to. Super easy, super fast. Always sits perfect. Tina, hooked up, girl. You said it. She, why does she always catch the first one? That's a dinker. That, oh, that's a dinker? Yeah, yep, but that's the first fish. Off the skunk. All right, now we can start. Tina. This one's bigger. That's a keeper. No. No? Oh my gosh, really? No. That's okay, I'm. <laughs> At least I'm catching something. Oh, I got one too, girl. I got one. I got a good one. Oh, great. I got the yeah. one we're looking for. Oh, oh baby. Look no, at that. Oh, that is a tank. That is what we're talking about. Mississippi golds right there. I cannot believe that that's an average perch on the Mississippi River. Yeah, that that is a beautiful, beautiful yeah. fish. That's 10, 11 inch perch right there. Look how thick them fish are right there. Oh, look at the belly. Something about perch fishing, especially when you're thinking about, you know, in the Midwest, perch are definitely one of the most sought after species that there is. Because, probably because, because they're delicious.
Oh, that is a good one. Beautiful oh, Tina! Mississippi River perch. That's a good one. She's got one. Yeah, that's a keeper. Up. That is a keeper right there. Oh, that is so sweet. For sure, a good eater for sure. Oh, yeah. There, that's a good eater. I'll take that one all day long. Yeah, no doubt. I'll take big girls any day of the week right there. Shawnee even had one going there. Gotta love that right there. Kiss How's the it? fish, How does it taste, Sean? Kiss How does the, the, the fish. Taste? What do you got there, Sean? Ooh, you go, oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh, you oh there he goes. Oh. There he goes. He's right underneath the boat right now. Yeah. How's that one going to taste? Salty, he says. Oh, you got a tussler. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Lift that one up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Camera Sean. guys get hit with perch with me, just so you know. Right. It sounds like, <laughs> looks like Sean's getting baptized with the perch water. That's all right, whatever it takes to get me on them. Here we got a big pot of perch you can see right here, 10 feet off the side of the boat. You can see somebody's drop shot there getting chased by them. Look at how fired up they are. Hey, look at this. We got look a big at this one. one. Oh, ah, son of a shit. Oh, you're one of them kind of guys, catch and release. Well, at least get them into your hand and then back into the water. Anyway, we got her on an Arc Lab shuttle here on the Larmac 360 mount. Look at all them perch down there. So you can pivot wherever you want it. I can switch from the boat to ice in about 30 seconds flat. Oh, <laughs> what do you got there, Adam? Oh my, big boy, little perch. Yeah, when you look at the Garmin, just look at the amount of perch that are down here. I mean, they are absolutely stacked. There's definitely just piles and piles of them. See, somebody's got one coming up. There you go. Both you guys, double. Oh, Tina, that's a keeper. Ah, it's not moving. <laughs> oh, that's a good one right there. Nice little fatty. She'll eat just fine. Good eater. Got him lasso. Oh, he hooked All in the right, fin. Yeah, oh, that's a let go. Oh. He's going back. Double. Double. I got a. Shy, come on. It was an airboat. I was right. 100%. Nice one right there. Look at the size of the bait that these perch are eating. A 7 8 inch perch will take that thing down, zero problem. There he goes. Shawnee's on. Shawnee, come on, get him in the boat. There you go, you gotta start somewhere. That's a good keeper. That was Sean a heavy little He's a heavy little Sean You don't even got one in the boat. Come here, you Don't swear, we're filming. Sorry. Well, that's one way of getting them off. Ow! That's little. Well, I guess I put them back. Who said that's little? You did. I didn't say it was little. You just did. I said that was a good eater. Liar. Now you're lying. I am not. You think that I'm... You think that we're awful? He, I'm awful because I'm razzing him. He just said he wanted to use his own rod. Oh, he used my own rod today. And so I'm like, okay, I'm sick of him crying, right? So he went and he goes, he says to the camera guy, oh, do you want to get a hook set on camera? He had one hanging on there. And all of a sudden he goes to do the hook set, slime snaps. Hmm. That, that Kmart line again. Oh, Kmart line, huh? They've been closed for 10 years. Told this story one other time, right? Yeah, that's how old his line is. That's when he bought it. This Yahoo shows up with about a 30-year-old Pfluger president with 14-pound trilene XL on it. We all says know we're he's going full of BS. Fishing. We know he's BS. All my rods are brand new. And he says, deal with it. A lot of fighting in the boat for it being such a beautiful day and the fish biting like crazy. Why is there so much fighting going on in this boat here, right? So it happens, you know what? Maybe, maybe if they all had a sun drop, they started their day off in the morning with a sun drop, like I do, they'd be a happy camper, right? Oh, you're gonna get them in the boat? Oh, will he get it? Will he make it? Shawnee, oh, come on, oh! Hey, can I give some real? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see the size of that perch? That's like the third one that that's happened to him on. You know why? because he doesn't just yank him up with the rod. Give him a yank. Dude, it's a mags rod. You're not gonna hurt the rod, it's made for that. Don't be so nice all the time, like pretending like you're making jerky at the plant, right? You just slice and dice that, get it in the, get it in the smoker and get her going. Let's see if he gets him in the boat. Oh, will it happen? Will it happen? Oh, it's not in the boat yet. Oh, finally, you, 
Well, that's one way of getting he in the boat. got him in the boat. <laughs> I missed the seat. Hey, Sean, whatever it takes Here, to get you him. take that way. I would help you, but I got to get this fish out. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of in a bad spot here. I got my leg in a way that I can't get it out from under. You're not as young as you used to be. Assistant the camera guy. That was one big perch. That's all I got to say. Holy man. Put him in the bucket, son. Everybody, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, I got a pretty simple tip this week, and it actually came from our new camera guy, Max, and it's on a drop shot rig. Typically what I do is I take my drop shot rig and I hook the hook on the hook keeper, and then what I do is I take the line and I just basically wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around. Now, he was fishing at the end here because we caught so many fish today, and he had a very interesting way to do it. So basically what he's doing is just basically taking his sinker, going through the hook like that, and hooking it right to the hook keeper. Hey again, everybody, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. That's a good one. Oh. Tanker. That's a tanker. Beautiful. They come bigger, but that is a nice one. When you're looking for your eaters, that's what you're after right there. Got him. Look at that little thing, Sean. I, I mean, what? Just leave, get him out of the way so that we catch the big one. Leave him on for bait. Ice, right? It. There you go. Nice job, Sean. You can take that one. Oh, yeah. That one's better. That one's That's better. a good one, Sean. Nice one. Ooh, that's a good one. Shawnee, clicker. Picker of the clicker. Boy. Oh, that's a big boy. Maybe a big girl. Big girl. No, that is a big girl. Sean? Oh, there you go. 39. Got him. Oh, it might have 40. Nope. Yep, that's 40. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All day long. Nice job. <clears throat> How many stripes does your perch have? <laughs> he likes to leave them up on top of them perfectly. Is that what you want? Double! Tina. Double! Tina. Tina. Tony. Ooh! Nice job, both of you guys. Come here, both. Flip them up. I, I think they're yours. about the same size, yeah. too. Perfect eater right, right there. Double clicker. Bigger. There you, you go. One. Loving that you one. You want that one. Yep. Nice job. Good hook set on that one. And you stayed in your chair. Four. You stayed in the chair. I mean, there's not too many years that you have this kind of opportunity this early in the year to come out and fish the river in a boat and uh, <clears throat> catch, you know, yeah, you be up and catch this giant perch like these. And I don't know, just a great day to be alive. That's all I'm going to say. One. Ooh, Shawnee, that's a really good one. I'll take care of that for you, buddy. Whoa, Adam will take care of that for you. <laughs> Adam, look at it. Your perch slapping that, this that, time. That, that one was a little heavier than the last one. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Oh, yeah. Yo, Pacharoni. Thick, beautiful colors. You never get sick of seeing that. All right, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Take me out on the water. Somewhere in the woods. Is that right? <laughs> is that right? Where the breathing is easy and the living is good. Out in the great outdoors. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. What are these guys on today was in this that boat? The right words, it was Larry? fantastic. Thank it was you. unbelievable. I thought you were Taylor Swift with a frog <laughs> with a bullfrog in her throat. Ka. Oh, perfect fish right there. Double. Adam. Going. Ooh. Double clicker. Double clicker. Yep. Some days they want this, some days they want that. Oh, Shawnee, clicker. Double. Double. Oh, the waxy. Oh, the waxy. Ooh, the waxy. Good Get job, the girl. Waxy. Normally over here is also a player's hanging. You know, fish whistles. What's with the fish whistles? You got different ones. <laughs> what kind of fish is that calling? Well, see, that one was the original fish whistle. This was the whistle that I inherited from my wife when she used to coach girls basketball. Okay. And then my niece... So that one doesn't really call it fish. No. And then okay. my niece, my niece decided I needed to have the wiener whistle. Oh, the wiener whistle. So I got to blow a little wiener, but it doesn't blow that long. Oh, the old Oscar Meyer. Yep. Yeah. Kind of like a gangster of ice fishing. 
there. Good God, if the man falls through, hopefully he doesn't sink down to the bottom, right? Even That's with why a, I wear float float suit. Even with a float suit, he's still going right straight down 100 feet. Are you okay? You okay? <laughs> Hold on here, high knees! You can always tell a guy that has a lot of money by always on the throttle, full bore, just letting that fuel go through that Mercury motor like crazy. They love it when they go to the gas pump and just keep squeezing that thing, and the numbers are like a slot machine. Da -da 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 just racking it up, but they always forget when it goes to that two hundred and forty dollars. He didn't win two hundred and forty dollars. He lost two hundred and forty bucks. So as a smart older guy, conservative, I like to go about you know about 30, 32 miles an hour. I like to conserve my fuel. You know, it's not always about just smashing that throttle. He'll learn someday. <laughs> this is his wallet. Oh, the tens, twenties. Oh, well, oh, there's a fifty. You okay? It's, it's almost like the days when you had a Harley and you were waving to the guy on a bike. You see another warrior on the water, you just get a good feel. First class all the way from the people that ride them to the people that make them. They do such a nice job with communication. They'll pick up the phone anytime. It's, it's really almost a friendship. You could be in any state and when somebody with a warrior drives by you, you get that honk, that beep. You're truly part of a family and there's nothing like it. Introducing Forever Barnwood. Transform your space with the warmth and character of a genuine Barnwood look. Forever Barnwood offers over 200 authentic Barnwood products. We are commercial and food safe. Our products are available in unlimited quantities while still providing the consistency you need to complete large projects. All of this while still looking like it came out of a hundred year old barn. Forever Barnwood, bring the history inside. Hey, Tina, let's talk a little bit about Mike's Country Meats. Let's talk about, like, how did it, it originate, you know? I know it was your dad, Mike, obviously. That's Mike's Country Meats, right? Well, we actually started out as Mike's Wild Game Processing. And okay. we did a lot of custom cuts, venison, and wild game. Yep. And then everybody just kind of really enjoyed our recipes and stuff and was like, hey, you should make that for wholesale and retail. So then we did. And then we fell into our jerky recipe, in which we did a lot of testing with it. It did not come out what it is now. Then we ate a lot of dog treats. We gave a lot of stuff out to people to try. Oh, that's an interesting. I never knew that. Uh, you know, when it comes to, you know, trying to find the product, when people are looking to find Mike's Country Meats, what's the easiest way? Because I know, I mean, it's, it's in grocery stores, it's in gas stations, it's in bait shops. How do you find it, right? Uh, the number one place to go would be our website, mikescountrymeats.com. But we are into a lot of big retailers, like you'll find us at Woodman's, you'll find us at Festival Foods. The other part is that probably a lot of people don't know, and this really makes it easy. And it's kind of like fishing gear now. Like, I hardly ever go to a retailer anymore to get fishing gear unless I'm down by Dick Smith's. But most of the time, I order it online, and people can actually order jerky from you guys online and have it shipped right to their house. Perfect. So if somebody's looking at, you know, giving their employees or giving their friends or, you know, you got some special occasion coming up, you can get gift boxes of different flavors, whatever, you can mix and match whatever you want to do on for just strictly the jerky. Yep, you yep. can mix and match one pound bags with 7.5 ounce bags or three two fives. You can get them on one size. You can 
kind of just randomly pick and choose. Hey, you guys, if you're looking for a really great product, you know, just to try yourself or to, to give to somebody that you really care about, make sure you guys check out Mike's Country Meats. Hey, Adam, let's talk about all the different pools that you actually fish here on the Mississippi. You're not just on one pool. You fish a really a wide range of territory, and which is pretty cool because, you know, sometimes one pool's not doing so well, or one pool might be better for walleyes, one might be better for crappies, you know, right. any kind of species. So let's kind of, let's tell people at home when they're looking at coming out and fishing the Mississippi which is one of the most incredible fisheries that we have for sure. Yeah so what I tell people whether it's ice or open water we're gonna be within an hour of lacrosse but essentially what I do Lair is I guide on pools five through nine. Okay so that sounds from good. From the yeah. very top of five to the very bottom of nine so anywhere That's in between. That's a lot of water. It's about 120 mile stretch. <laughs> it, uh, it changes a lot and we're just always trying to stay on top of the best bite and uh, give our clients the best opportunity at what they're coming here for. That's awesome. Hey Adam, let's tell them how they can get a hold of you at Adrenaline Angling. Yeah, AdrenalineAnglingGuideService.com is a great way to get a hold of me. You can actually book directly on my website. Otherwise, Adrenaline Angling Guide Service on Facebook. We post uh, almost daily reports of what's going on and you can follow along with our adventures there. Hey everybody, we want to thank you guys for joining us this week. You know, like we do each and every week, we want to thank all of our military men and women for the great service they have given this country and continue to give this country. All of our firefighters and paramedics also, and of course, all of our law enforcement agents. You know what? It is a great day to be alive, and we're going to see you guys and gals again next week, and thanks for joining us. It definitely feels incredible to be back in a boat again. I'll tell you that much. Huh? I'm trimmed up. Is he asking me if I'm trimmed up? Like, I was born in a boat, right? Thank goodness it wasn't his boat. <laughs> Everybody, our Leroy lunchtime, and what an amazing deal. Now, this is two different trips that we've done with Adam that we've actually been done fishing by noon. Absolutely perfect timing. Hey, today we've got some interesting flavors. We've got the honey mustard brat right here, which I have not had yet. And then we've got the pepperoni pizza brat, which I have had, another good one. Which one do you think you're gonna like the best today? I think I'm going for the pepperoni right away. Okay, pepperoni it is. You guys, let's see, let's get these on the grill, get them fired up and see how they taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You better put that camera down and grab one of these. The Mississippi Mafia is coming. This guy's got six freezer full of these perch already. He's gonna be all pissed off that we're here filming the show. Yeah, I've never been laughed at or had complaints, but I've never heard, wow, is that a big one. <laughs> That's the biggest I've ever Actually, seen. you're a natural. Oh my gosh, you're such a natural. Oh my gosh, you're so good.